Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're going to be doing the Anomaly mission today. Um, kind of messed up just a little bit. I'm using a different save to get to the Anomaly mission. I did an entire recording, and I realized that things didn't quite go the way I anticipated. So what we've got here is we've got my other save, my other main save, my first one, and we'll be using my other ship here to get this done. Now, we are actually in the Anomaly right now. This is where I saved last. And if you look over here, you'll see on the right-hand side, I still have three Quicksilver missions I can do. And the top one, the blue one, off blue, teal, whatever you want to call it, is uh, going to be the anomaly mission for the weekend. And you can see it's Unearth Ancient Bones. So we're going to go do a little uh, uh, bone hunting here. And it looks like it's changed for me into a reward. Hold on a second. That didn't look right. Let's try this again. Oh, it's giving me two rewards. It's giving me frigate fuel, and it's going to be give me some units, as well as the 1800 Quicksilver. So let's go ahead and grab this. There it is, 1800 Quicksilver. It just changed over, and frigate fuel. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and grab it. And we'll get the announcement here in just a second. There it is, Skeletal Legacy. All right. Let's go ahead and jump in my ship here, the Fragment. Okay. Different ship than you're used to seeing me in, I know. It is what it is. And off we go. Hyperspace jump away, and we'll go ahead and check out this particular mission. Now, Unearthing Ancient Bones is an interesting um, mission in that the planet you land on, these bones can either be relatively close together... Sometimes it's one bone, sometimes it's many bones in one little spot. Other times you really have to search the planet pretty far in order to find the bones. So we'll wait for it to pop up. There it is. It's going to take me over to this side. Looks like it's nighttime over there. There we go. It really doesn't make a difference where you land on the planet, so if you'd rather land someplace else, you can. But I'm going to go with wherever it's directing me. Oh, good. Daylight. Excellent. It's a relatively temperate planet, but it does have storms here that are hot. Which is good for your jetpack. And you can land anywhere you want. I try to find... I do a scan and I try to find a building that might have a landing spot for me so I can save on my launch fuel. It's up to you. Most of the time you're not going to find anything. Yeah. As you can see there, I got that. And that. Anything else? No. I might just land and call it a day. I don't think it's really that important for me. All right, let's just go ahead and land. Love these ships, I really do. May not be the fanciest one in the fleet, but hey, it's a nice looking ship. Oh, I forgot I had you on. Hello, buddy. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it looks like we got them all over the place here. All right, so we've got one up there. 831, so we can always come back to our ship. Looks like there's one right here at 661, and another one over there at 905, so that's good. And we need how many? 12? 12 bones. Let's take a walk, shall we? There we go. Good deal. Didn't injure myself that time. Hey! I'm not even going to worry about where I parked my car this time because, frankly, and yes, I said car, um, frankly, I'm not too concerned about it because we're going to just call it in when we get wherever we're going here. Up the hill. Let's see if we can make it. Yeah, we made it all the way up here. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. That was a good, good run there. All right, good deal. So here we are. Feel free to scan things if you wish. Sometimes these sites, like I said, have more than one bone. If you look closely as you get to them, you might see a couple others pop up. This one appears to be stingy. All right. I like to go to the wide setting when I'm searching for bones. And it looks like we've got one of the cheap ones. Okay, good deal. That's one bone down. So the next one... Looks like it's over here at 664. Let's go ahead and grab it. Looks like there's a few over there, so I'll take it. 
Now, hopefully you're not doing this in permadeath mode, because you drop out of the sky at that height, you're going to hurt yourself. All right, good deal. Hope everybody's doing well this weekend. As you know, I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos lately. I've been actually doing a lot of decent research as well. On the Voyager mission. So I'm looking forward to showcasing that a little bit. Alright, let's see what we got here, by the way. Alright, looks like we got a total of three bones here. So I'll be doing some of those. Ooh, we got some rare ones. That's good. So 758. This looks like a regular one. Nope, it is also a rare one. It's 654. And also we're at just over a thousand years old. All right, good deal. I don't see any more here. Is there one more here? 765, and there's actually one right in front of me I missed. There it is. All right, got it. So I, there was one deeper down. We didn't even see that one. So you got to take a closer look around here. So we got one there at 774. And we got one over here at 710. So let's go ahead and grab this one. We got, we're up to five bones. So back to my news. I am putting out occasional videos. I've got some videos in regards to uh, uh, a permadeath playthrough I'm doing now. Just a standard permadeath playthrough. Nothing special. Not regarding starter ship challenge or anything like that. Um, it's just going to be a playthrough story mode for the most part. I'm not going to go crazy with reading everything, but I'll go ahead and get that done. So feel free to watch, look for those. I'll come out every Wednesday as usual. Um, I am going to try to continue to do anomaly missions on Fridays so that you all can see what the mission is and check out what gets done and what the rewards are. That was a pretty good run right there. All right, let's see. It looks like we only have one here as well. But it's a rare one, so that's also pretty valuable. All right, excellent. I like that. A little bit of a glitch in the power there. I'm just shooting this beam everywhere, aren't I? That is absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. The beam won't shut off. There we go. Now shut off. All right, good deal. All right, let's go this way this time. Looks like we got some more over here. Very close by. Looks like a few of them. check that out now my plan is is possibly next weekend not this weekend but next weekend we'll be doing a live stream probably on Saturday night um, we'll see how that goes I'm not sure of the of what we'll have on oh hello wow okay I just fell into a hole here let's get up here one thousand years old and another one okay good what are we up to we're up to nine okay good deal so a thousand years old is what we've got all right so yeah I'm gonna be doing some missions in regards to that so that's gonna be good um, into the Voyager expedition that is and I think I it's not that we have a way of doing a speed run on it but there is faster ways to get it done. You can accomplish nine of the milestones before you even warp out of the first system. So there's that. And that's all can take place within just one planet in that system. The other planets are kind of, you know, there. They're useful, but you really just have one planet you go to there. And that's a good thing. Um, I'm actually just going to get a little closer to the ship here because I know that there was these close by. Ah, I look forward to the incoming storm. That's actually needed. A lot of these things, you can catch you can catch these things. These are usually gold or uranium. So feel free to grab some. A lot of them, these are uranium, actually. Wow, they're all uranium? Are you kidding me? What am I doing on uranium? Not there. Let's see. Got some pyrite. Got 316 uranium. How's my ship doing? Not that I can see it from here. Nothing. Okay. Probably a good idea. So if you want to, grab some uranium while you're at it. Usually you'll get a pretty decent amount of uranium out of one. You'll see it's not counting up the uranium that you're gathering yet. 
until it pops. And then you get, look at that, 329 just from one deposit. So, you know, rather than buying some from a space station, which if you got the cash, do it by all means. But, hey, this is an opportunity. I just gathered over 600 and over 1,000 now. We're almost 1,000 now. I just got some carbon. That's great. And it's like trying to overheat, but it doesn't want to get all the way there. Look at that. I've never over, uh, gotten this thing to overheat. So that's a first for me. I could probably do some upgrades on it, too, to get some more. Look at all the uranium I'm getting out of this thing. This is hilarious. Oh, gold. Okay, I don't really need the gold. I'll stick to the uranium for now. So that's cool. My sentry's talking to me, apparently. All right, that should be enough. That's good. And we're in an extreme heat storm, so let's continue on and find ourselves where our... There it is. And because it's a heat storm, we should be able to stay in the air for a good amount of time with our jetpack because it's uh, it uses the fuel more efficiently in storms. But be advised, if the storm just suddenly decides to cut out in the middle of your jetpack trail and you're, half, and you're halfway down, you're going to fall. <laughs> Look at that. Nearly got the entire distance. A little hop, skip, jump. All right, there we go. Excellent. Terrain manipulator is engaged and ready to go. And all we need is three more. And it looks like we got four here, so that's good. And we're doing that again. It looks like it's... It's uh, glitching out on us a little here. Had that happen on another, on my other run that I did on this. So there's one, two. Looks like we got a rare one up there. You kind of want that. I don't know what I'm running into there. Three. So we, we really completed the mission already. We'll get the rare one. 797. And I'll go ahead and grab the extras because, you know, they're worth, they're worth it. And another rare one, so that's actually a thousand years old, so that'll be worth some cash. Alright, so we're done here. So it tells us to scan so we can get our location that we need to drop it. But we're going to pull the ship in here first. There we go. And we'll do the scan from the ship. Now, I don't know what this does, but I don't think, you know, basically, because you can be attacked by sentinels with this mission... It'll tell you the Sentinels have been alerted. Okay, so that's where we need to go. You didn't mention anything about Sentinels this time, so that's good. So let's go ahead and head over there and start dropping stuff off. It's usually not far away, as you can see. Ooh, look, Rainbow. Very nice. Storm clearing. Excellent. With that, the Rainbow should fade out. Funny, it's almost at the end of the rainbow here, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not going to be. Now, again, I warn you, there's a possibility you could be attacked by sentinels when you get here. So when you get out, be prepared. I'm not seeing anybody, so I think we're okay. All right, let's see what he has to say. The Viking grants a hello. They neither question who sent me nor offer an explanation for why they are out here alone. They do, however, seem to understand the nature of what I brought them. So we're going to show them the samples. Guard Agardo quietly runs a device across several of the samples, handling the remains with a profound respect. They return the bones and transmit the scan data, scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And that's it. So if there had been, you just wanted to switch over to your weapon and you could have just fought off the Sentinels and once you fought them off, then you could have presented the remains. But we don't have to do that here. So we're going to head out. Off we go. We're done with this planet. Very interesting planet too, by the way. So we get out here, pull in the anomaly. Hey, this time I didn't pull it into an asteroid field. Excellent. And off we go to the Nexus to complete our mission. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So again, watch for some videos. We will we'll do the Voyager Expedition on my live stream next weekend. I am actually very busy tomorrow. We'll be 
doing a lot of uh, uh, things family-wise in the morning, and then being uh, we we're supposed to go over to a friend's house and enjoy a Star Wars-themed party, including watching many Star Wars movies or shows or something along those effects. So we'll see what what happens with that. All right, turn in our Nexus mission. There it is, complete. 1800 Quicksilver, a couple of frigate fuels, and we're done. And if you want, let's check the uh, Quicksilver store real quick. Yeah, no pun intended. And we're going to go create exotic items from Quicksilver. And you'll see that they now have, I, have, I haven't I have got it from this character yet, but the Scorching Jetpack, because Tier 1's been done, and Tier 2 is now complete. You can now get the Festive Jetpack if you really want that. Tier 3 is 30% complete. When I just ran this earlier, it was only 27%, so it's climbing rather quickly. Everybody seems to be doing the mission. That's great. These others ought to open up over a quick amount of time. So there we go. And that, as they say, is that. So we're going to end our mission here, and I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe, of course. And if you have any comments you'd like to make or just some questions or something along those lines, uh, things you'd like to see on my channel, things that you want me to do as regards to No Man's Sky or Minecraft for that matter, please let me know. Thank you very much again for watching and uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.